Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing as the Iron Mongers, led by Juggernaut. He dislikes his Brotherhood of Steel. Alright, green skins, let's do this. Let's here comes the Juggernaut. While the Juggernaut may have once been a follower of At Atis, discovering the lands of the Texan Arms Association changed him forever. The ability to craft, build, and create machines of war proved to be an absolutely enticing siren's call to him and his followers. Taking a chunk from themselves became the default option, but their desire to create is strong. One that might cause the Ironmongers to move further south in pursuit of tools, vehicles, and forge. But we're going to begin with the remnants of Attis' army. Attis, more than any other mutant, was ambitious. And then our assignment. The mission he assigned to us, to him, was the most important. <clears throat> Attis was a super mutant without equal. Intelligent, cruel, cunning. When the master fell, they led. Uh, our army east, away from the Brotherhood and the growing Californian Republic hoping to find some answers as to the origin of FEV. This origin would eventually be found in the city of Los, near somewhere known as the Secret Vault. There, ultimately, is where he would have met his end, the army fracturing shortly after into several groups, subgroups. We served under them in their army as one of their lieutenants. What did Atis value in us to trust us so highly? So if you don't know, we're dragging out to Texas. Juggernaut will ensure his forces are armored and be ready to ravage Texas. Atis' memory will not be forgotten. We're very heavy on vehicles. Atis' army remnants. The Addis Army was a super mutant army that was one of the largest offshoots of the Master's Army. Led by former General the Master Attis was an uh, extremely intelligent and cunning super mutant who nearly was able to bring all of Texas under his control. However, a contingent of the brother was able to put a stop to his plans, and the army was shattered into smaller groups of warbands, all fighting for control amongst each other, and the Rackery infestation. A horde of feral, radiation-deranged Rackery have made burrows across our land that are hurting our ability to fully utilize the industrial space we have available to us and rust from the Great Storm, ten years ago. A great tropical storm crashed throughout the Gulf of Mexico. While this, by this point most other nations have fully recovered from the damage it wrought upon, the Ironmongers still struggle with the rust that left on their tools and war machines. With all of their gear jocks, they finally made a good deal of headway into returning their forges to a state of normalcy, a full industrial recovery looking to be just beyond the horizon. But do we just choose our strategy? Our loyalty, our cunning, huh? We don't have a lot of war support. I do like stability a lot, though. But it's harder to get war support generally. Army XP is okay. Let's go with cunning. And then our legacy. We have accomplished much since his end. Before Addis met his end, he gave us an assignment to follow. He tasked us with taking the southern industrial heartland of Texas and use those arms to help further the super mutant cause. What supplies would he have given us to accomplish his task? Construction equipment or ammunition? Um, we're going to need a lot more here, and one more civvy's not going to do very much for us. I'm going to go with ammunition. <clears throat> After we take the southern industrial land, our warband experienced a massive culture change. We went from a band of marauders to a band of smiths. The urge to use the tools we found to build, craft, and experiment, and with larger and larger tools of war, forged our very identity. A few decades in, and the idea so follows uh, Addis's order seems so strange. Why listen to the words of a dead man when a life here is so perfect? I will build an iron, an empire of iron and silver. So it becomes master smith. I wouldn't mind going down this route faster. We get Mantis gear jocks. That's kind of cool. Um, because I don't mind getting that research slot because we only have two right now, which is not good at all. Ooh, to take the state, Crystal City and Uvaldi, Valdi, Uvaldi, probably I think it's Uvaldi. Oh, get a core of it. If we get it, or mean scavenging. Um, a lot of resource blueprints. It's not bad. You, get, you can build quite fast, but it doesn't seem like we really need to go down this way too fast. Um, in the meantime, it still works. When the Juggernaut's warband was given the order from Atis to seize the southern industrial heartbed of Texas, he took that order diligently. It was a matter, simple matter of fighting off those who used to live there, simple raiders and small creatures alike. What those super mutants wouldn't have predicted was just how much they loved the place they took. So much metal, so many tools, and so much fun. The Ironmongers made the steelworks their home and their identity. Uh, mutant industry... Oh, uh, resources, which is great. Fabrication, not a, a drop to drink. The red ones go faster. Fortification battalions. Ooh, that's pretty good. Mutant workshops. Mutant-sized tools. Mutant arms factories. Clear construction. Clear sky construction. Behemoths of industry. Well, let's keep going down this center route, because we get the flames of the forge. Oh, and another research slot, too. Unification wars, because I do want to go to war quickly. Um, it's independent, full na neighbor of us. Well, I guess we have to wait, then. That sucks. Uh, iron Flyers, War Sport, Steelworks are done, eh? Mm, well, how about Rackery Infestation? Or the Feral Radiation Deranged Rackery have made burrows across our land that are hurting our ability to fully utilize the digital space we have available to us. Ah, three research slots, nothing like it. Actually, what are we 
good at. We're very good at support. Ooh, that's different. Support and industry. Good. We're only medium on vehicles, which is not great. Interesting. So really... So we're definitely not going to go in power armor or robotics, which is totally fine. Everything else is pretty... Okay. Not bad. Uh -huh. so we would like to do this one, but we need more industry for that. Let's go and maximize as many arms factories as we can first, something I usually don't do. Uh, and for the most part, in our focus tree, and then keep going on from there. War sport, war sport, construction speed, division, organization. Reactory, unlike other smallies, do not live on the ground. Instead, they dig holes and live inside of the dirt itself. One of our worksmiths came up with a good idea. Why don't we just toss boomsticks into the holes and then blow them out? Or chase them down. Puny little Reactory are good at hiding from our battle wagons, but their stubby legs make it hard for them to run in an open field. We're pretty good on resources overall. How much do we get? 1.16 a day? That's not too bad. Um... Go get more stability as is. <clears throat> good. So we've eight factories. We've got three going here. Um, that's not bad. We don't really need this one yet. It's going to take some more time to build these things up. So let's do that real quick. Um, we've got reference manuals, which is nice. Happy April 1st. Good. And where are we at? Oh, we start with conventional warfare. Interesting. Because this is what we've got. Or, hey, we have battle wagons. We like battle wagons. Motorized tanks. So we're really vehicle focused. Or we'll be making war trucks. So we're just using motorized the entire time. We could use super mutants if we really wanted to. We go down outsider warfare. But mutants, they don't benefit our vehicles. And you know what? Even though we're super mutants, I might just go straight up conventional warfare and get as many buffs for mechanized. I think that's probably the plan for us. Yeah. And after that, um, in all honesty, we might just go... I don't think asymmetric is going to help us out. Well, we get more organization this way. Get more breakthrough initiative. Well, that's walking infantry, so you don't get very much else. We get breakthrough, a little more max speed, more soft attack. Actually, it might be not bad. More HP. Organization loss is going moving. It goes way down, which is actually really cool. This won't really help us. Yeah, more breakthroughs is nice. Recovery rate, defense, piercing, infantry. Well, they don't consider that motorized infantry, right? Well, they do consider motorized. Interesting. Or do we go mutants? But if we don't use any mutants or behemoths, is there really a point to go down this way? Because you look on mutants, and you got super mutants, you got fairies. You don't have... Motorized division experience gain. Yeah, I don't think it would really help us out very much. The so consumption assumption is better. Division experience gain. Mutants, 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 behemoths, and whatnot. Coordination plus ten percent. <coughs> Do we have Nikins at all? No, I guess not. So I guess we're just gonna keep going down conventional warfare. After this, we're gonna grab probably Golden Gecko. I love a Golden Gecko. It's an entertainment company. This gives you a, more, a lot more war support and two more building slots, which is pretty nice. I guess I did say I wanted to grab uh, more arms factories immediately. But I guess it'll wait. Or maybe train mantis gear drops. Within the deep halls of the Ironmonger's factories, it is difficult for large super mutants to find the tools they need at a quick notice. This is why they use what they call gear drops. Train mantises to work as their assistants in place of slaves or indentured servants. These small train and loyal creatures are able to quickly navigate the desolate forges and find whatever tool their masters need, and which is a perfect companion to the master smith. Because why not? We get a couple of infrastructure, get mantis gear jocks, chase them down, uh, raccoon killing guns. Soft rackery hides are easy to pierce with a right bullet. We can shoot them from a fair distance away before they even see us. That'd be great. So now we're just going to be hanging out for now. Which is okay. It's not great. It's not bad. At his town. We don't have a trade no, do we? No. Gloria would be great to get to, but whatever. Um, building the perfect war machine. The Ironmongers do not pretend to prefer fighting on land with a Daka and Chapa. No. And so they prefer their war machines. The battle wagons. Great treaded vehicles meant to run over uh, uh, their foes with turrets atop their frame for additional fire support. If you can stand up to a threat so dangerous. Crowd control, eh? Interesting. I think a 20 armor too on them. Are they support companies or? Oh no, maybe they're not. War trucks. Oh, you're enforcers. Oh, they've been really cool. They, to me, that makes more sense if they're a support company. They help each super mutant group out. 
I thought that was a super unique ability. I might just stick with these guys then. As cool as these guys are. Um, crowd control. I and mean, that's great. Don't get me wrong. Really, the tr tanks are where it's at. And what we want to use and focus on the most, probably. Maybe. Iron flyers. Let's go down next. Being a creature's heavy is immune comes with certain fear of falling, after all. When you weigh so much, you typically do more damage when you fall over. This fear goes doubly when deep in the sky. Skill, still, some of the metal workers of the Iron Mongers have made a progress in flyer development, woving or wowing the contemporaries. Air technology, that'd be great. <clears throat> As a neighbor, fully independent. Hopefully, become independent. Loud engines. By purposely making our engines as loud as possible, we can increase the intimidation factor of our army. Who needs stealth when you are working from a thin metal frame three feet thick? Right tool for the, for the job. So it's important to find the right tool for work. Sometimes you need a wrench, sometimes you need a drill, sometimes you need bits of flesh to lubricate the gears. Let's go for those military factories. And so what do you want? We want... Oh. Uh, we, outside of warfare makes sense, but still. So you guys, uh, huh. There's brotherhood. So we're gonna keep an eye on all this stuff over here to see whenever they can pop out. And we want to use sport equipment eventually for the maintenance companies we want to use. Battle wagon. A new stockpile of battle wagons has been made. Items will fear us when they see these rolling across the battlefield, which would be fantastic to get. So I'm going to go with this route next. I mean, scavenging is not bad, so I don't need it really yet. <coughs> and I want to get that research slot as fast as possible. So. Good. Keep working on them. Provised tanks, scrap trucks. Good, good, good. Unity of Austin. I really want to go to war. Crusher's army. Oh, hello. Oh, did it not play you before? Oh. No, I don't think I have played before. Interesting. The Unity. Crusher's Ambitions. Capital's gone, okay. Interesting. What am I playing them sometime? Case. Juggernaut. Sluggers, I like that. Vicious crazy eyes. Mm, civvy, civvy, support, industry. Loud engines. It's a go. Begin a scavenger program, shall we? Usually I never choose heavyweight, but we definitely want, I probably want to choose that one. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll go with melee hacker first. Um, it's because we need probably more attack whenever we do attack people. Let's see if we can get upgrades for. Uh, vehicles. I can't think of the word for some reason. Hello? Built tough. Aggressive attack, less HP, less defense, more attack, and breakthrough. Well, Old soldier, just more coronation like that. Bronze, brains and brawn. Power of hunger. It's not bad. Power of might. Ooh, right through defense. <coughs> Army experience gain. It's not bad. Slave and guy. Slave master. Organization less supply consumption. Well, honestly, hmm, I'm not sure. Industrial concerns. We want to build as much as fast as possible. The founder claims descent from Ukrainian immigrants, which would be fascinating if we knew what the Ukraine was. Nevertheless, they'll gladly install electrical systems for reasonable prices with only marginally higher than average rates of failure. Sounds like something we should get. We want to build. Oh, look at this! Normally it's always been so difficult to get together a war party invaded into the west of human lands. Recently, however, there's been some sort of change of power. Perhaps it's a good time to launch a raid. Just in case we're going to save. Hey, there's the Alamo chapter 2. Look at that. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to launch this from, so... Get as much organization as possible, you're going to need it. Ooh, not good from reliability, weather, high organization, which I don't call it high organization, but whatever. Mutant scavenging, eh? 
<laughs> There's a lot to be found in the remnants of the old world. Things far more advanced than we can produce. Yet even with a little bit of study can yield insight on how to recreate these relics. That'd be great. Mutant industry? One of the first and most important aspects of a modern state, especially in the wasteland, is the ability to organize a cohesive and directed industrial effort. Being a nation of giant green people does nothing to change this fact. Also, we do have a cup of tea here. It gives us nice and toasty. Ooh, they're gonna kill each other. Nice. Battle plans, nice. Good, good, good. Practice targets. Now the TAAA is no longer protected by the Republic of the Rio Grande, we can finally take a few chunks out of them. Unlocks the GUI to pick a target for a slave raid. I love slave raiding. Battle wagons. Good. They all fear us once we'll start rolling across the battlefield. Good, 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 good. I would have mind getting Hualillo honey. We found some strange preserved sap inside some jars. The gear jocks absolutely love the taste. It seems to encourage them to work faster if we feed it to them. Or feed them in. Pretty much. Um, if we're going to do things ahead of time, we're going to start here. Crystal City Ammo Factory. We found an ammo factory. Uh, sadly, the bullets are here. A bit too small, mostly, to use with the dockers. But there's some that fit the chamber fine. Ondo. Um. Yeah, we'll do Crystal City. Looks like we're winning. Of course, they don't have divisions on there either. I played as a Texan Arms Association before, but the game crashed whenever I played as them. Which really, really sucks. I like actually playing as them. Todd Howitzer. Big and bright, huh? South Texas League, eh? Yeah. Oh, we found him. God, please tell me you can stop him. Or you can beat him up. Hey, Conquest against the TAA. We're able to drive the TAA out of their land. Taking it for our own. It was a short but incredibly decisive battle. We're the strongest. Oh, yeah. I love this. This is, this is our territory now. Fantastic. 900 units of infantry equipment is added. And get as a core. Love it. That really sucks if you're playing CAA, though. Good job, guys. Let's do it again. Maybe we can't. Darn it. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure. Perhaps Uvaldi would have been actually better. More on lock slots, but this gives us more manpower to work with. Interesting. Well, I guess you can't really nerf him too hard. <coughs> What's stopping them from attacking again and again and again and again, you know? I also want to do crossroads ready. And we're going to go with vehicles. Hey, look at that. Do it again, please. Please. What can we do after we get that one? Maybe not. Oh, conquest. Can I take a few chunks out of them? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Flames of the Forge. The heat of the Forge is a tough thing for early mutant to stand, yet when one stands strong with withstands it, they become all the stronger for it. Fantastic. I love it. I'm sorry, TAA, but this room tells me whenever I play as you, I'm going to forget about this. But most more importantly, get anti-tank research, because our armor is probably relatively thick compared to the beginning game's uh, piercing ability. So flush shredding bullets, their organization more attack. Heavy duty weapons hurt output, more better supply consumption. I don't really care to hurt our organization. I really don't want that. I'd rather hurt our factory output over anything else. Larger weapons made of denser materials will last longer. Versus by lining your bullets with a rusty acidic compound, we can improve their effectiveness um, in hitting soft targets, which is okay. I think heavy duty weapons are more fun. So we're going to launch it from. We have one, two tiles up here. One, two. Down here we have. Honestly, one. So it'd be better to launch it from up here. Hondo. Uvaldi. Juggernaut. Good. Go ahead. Now we have a couple divisions doing this. Yes. Full three such slot. Hey, scavengers. You got robotics which you don't need, but that's okay. We'll take it anyways. Oh, 
it feels good to rule. And now we can trade. <clears throat> I think, do we get a war with Eden next? Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. I really don't. Petro Chico. More stability police. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to do this one next too because we want that core. And more stability would be nice as well. <coughs> Excuse me. The fringe, eh? What even is the fringe? Uh, broken council. Ineffective leadership. It's just a generic nation. All right. Alamo chapters look like it's doing all right. Oh, look at all these research slots we have. Open oh, the research things. That's good. Floaters. Oh. Um, also, I did not tell you, but uh, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Stage Transfer Tool Mod, just in case we need it. And ooh, we have another battle wagon. Great. Um, we're also using Old World Blues Tech Expansion because I like that sub mod. Gives me more options. Makes us honestly makes us more stronger too. So. Just your fervor, good. Now we actually need more motorized compared to everything else. A little bit of surprise, but we did get that extra couple hundred tanks to use. So after this, fun challenge. More of the control states in 15, now's our chance. Some Brotherhood shows army. Um, are you fully independent? So 2277. Can we go to war with Eden? 277. Oh, Shell's army is going to kill Eden too, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Pursuant. We got a lot of uh, things here. Yeah. Improve shielding. Herd organization for more defense. Quite a bit more defense. More plates, more, more, more. Or slim chassis. Herd organization for more speed. We're going to hurt your organization no matter what. Do I rather more speed or more defense? Just a few plates is good too, though. Don't want to go too slow. You know what? I like this one more. We're not about defense. We're about moving fast. And we want speed. Not the drug, probably. But speed. Ooh, hand warband too, huh? Heavy duty weapons. Because this would be good as well. That's pretty good too. So we've done all of these. Me and scavenging wouldn't be bad. More construction speed I do like. Old World Blues, that sucks. That really sucks for us. Oh, I'm sure we'll grab that one anyways because we can. At least we have four research slots. I love it. Umbra's killing Umbra. We'll go to war soon in about half a year-ish. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. No, let's get more organization. Mm. Ah, mutant workshops. Super mutant factory workers have a unique set of needs and strengths. The construction of civilian industries in which these people can produce both new buildings and consumer goods will create a solid steel backbone for which your industry can rest upon. So, as much as I want more construction speed, I'd rather have at least 15 factories first to get us over that uh, hump. 15 factories first would be better, in my opinion. I could be completely wrong, though. Better consumer goods. Tools built for regular people. I think I read. I have a tendency to break and become unwieldy in mutant hands. With the better design, work and standardization across our factories that will equip our workers with tools they can depend on and use to build a better future. Yeah, why not? Can I do more raiding? Raiding is fun when you win. Who would have thought? And cannons, huh? A little ahead of time. Good. Maintenance companies are very good, very good. Floaters, centaurs, arm centaurs, that's kind of cool actually. <coughs> uh, we're going to need anti-tank no matter what eventually in the end. Uh, special forces, eh, vehicles. You know what? Here's something I almost never do. Let's go here, chop shop. And if we need vehicles... Ooh, 25,000, let's go to bed. Let's start doing that stuff there too. Mutant arms factories. Old world assembly lines aren't really fit to construct weapons of the proper size and scope for a super mutant. 
The shortcoming means that we should shore up our own military industry with new arms factories that can keep pace with the needs of an FEV improved army. Even more organization. Most of these. Ah, uh, why not? Clear a sky construction anti tank or I should say anti air. That's all right. It's not the most pressing thing we need. Infrastructure is good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but red ones go faster. <clears throat> it would be negligent to not consider our capability for assembling and housing aircraft of all kinds. The paving of airfield and construction of hangars, coupled with christening of a new military factories, will help us cover our aerial bases. That'd be great. More breaking coronation? Sure, why not? Seven divisions, not bad. Eden's actually doing relatively well. Look at that. Oh, well. There goes our plans of going Estado de Tejas. Did they change their effect? Mm, no, they didn't. Selling out to the Mexicans, I see. And then maybe we'll get, grab this, because this is not bad, just... It's all right. Good. Perhaps a plane or two, yes. <clears throat> good, 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 good. It's only September. It's almost October. But they're pushing back in a little bit. I mean, I don't think... We, we have eight divisions, which is not bad. Let's see what happens here. Shell's army versus Eden. Now they're killing each other. They're running out of manpower. 23 divisions max. 21 divisions max. We only have 8. Ooh, who declared war on these guys? Ooh. Well, that's not good. Probably we'd push to go to Eden and take whatever we could. Ooh, Robco industry. Industry. Interesting. Red ones go faster, my friends. Ooh, we could. That's great, but we don't really have to have that. Let's scavenge. Oh, I guess that one next. Just in case, we're going to put another one on there and maybe get some gliders next, perhaps. Um, vehicle technology, tanks. The formalized scavenging program, while highly, well, highly beneficial to us, our efforts in the wasteland have been mostly ad hoc well, and without any set standard or procedure. As we continue to draw prospectors and pull uh, technology, technological marbles out of the rubble, we should make at least some effort to organize the Riley bands of scavengers in a meaningful way. Why not? There you go. Ooh, Eden's getting its poop pushed in. Very nice, very nice. Good, 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 good. Hope they can hold off against Santa Ana. Hmm, that's still be good too. Construction speed, factory output, all this stuff. Oh wait, I forgot to do this one again, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Expand the scavenging program. So far, our initiative towards scavenging the ways have been born fruit. We now have greater access to vehicles, both for the purpose of war making and industry. And with the promise of dangerous weapons to be found lost among the rubble, more mutants are drawn away from the front and into the ruins. If we're going to need more energy, we're definitely going to need that. <coughs> we can send volunteers. If we can send one, technically, that'd be worth it. Meek boys. Six divisions, they're, they're struggling. Oh my god, they are struggling. Uh -huh. It's gonna hurt us a little bit, but that's alright. Because it's how much. Lower your armor by 2.8, which is still not too bad. Lock read schematics, it's not bad, actually. Follow the National Guard. Goodbye, National Guard. Uh, where is it? Here we go. More meat boys. Oh, maybe not. Finesse and Agile. This is Agile. Are you the ones attacking or defending? Well, let's take a look-see. Sure, fighting down here really sucks. 
Um, but we're going to throw on anti-tank just in case anyways. Because the piercing is not bad, but I'd rather just do this anyways. Vehicle stuff. Uh, it's about how to... Ooh, mobile maintenance would be good too. A lot more HP and more defense. Great. Special forces if we really want them. Maybe we will want them, maybe we won't. Oh, we're already half, half an hour into this. God, that sucks. I'm really enjoying this, so. Oh, they are attacking us. Look at that. You're here to get experience. Good. Oh, now we can go to war with those people. Um, we're going to die anyways. So what if we went to war with them? Either that or the Alamo chapter or the need of Texas. Unification Wars. The three-way war for unity. It was a waste of time to do that, maybe. Hmm. Get airfields. Oh, we get some fighters immediately. That's not bad. Well, Final Lives Immune Scavenging Program. Our efforts to find knowledge and resources in the waste has given us insight into just about all the scientific fields. It's taken us new heights and deeper depths than, any, than anything ever before. Scavenger is a new and proud cast of Mute Society. It makes excellent time in bringing, the fable, bringing us fabled treasures of the old world. How you learning, son? What is this? Stacking penalty? Ooh. Hey. Hopefully we're learning something here. Oh, yeah. More factory output research and construction speed. Hawkish specialization. Now they foster an effective and eager force for scouring the waste. The question remains if its primary focus should be technologies for building the world or subjugating it. The answer is simple. We should focus our efforts on conquering the worlds we see fit. Or civilian specialization. Now we foster an effective and eager force for scavenging the waste. The question remains if its primary focus should be technologies for rebuilding the world or conquering. The answer is simple. We should focus on our efforts for rebuilding the world as we see fit. Honestly, I like the hawkish specialization. We should focus our efforts on conquering the world as we see fit, which makes more sense. We get plus 20% more max factories and research speed. We get research speed anyways. Do I want more max factories or production efficiency cap? 10% cap? It's alright. I want more max factories. You can build more. To me, that makes more sense. Are you learning? He's learning just a wee bit. Um, how many do we need? 20 military factories? How many do we have? S 17. We're not quite there. I'd rather piss him off. There you go. Ta da! Mechanized warfare. So it hurts our entrenchment, but more planning speed. It gives you more breakthrough soft attack organization. And now we get some more speed. Or something. There you go. Good job holding out here. Using instinct is nice. Um, power of hunger, breakthrough, breakthrough. Experience gain is nice and all, but honestly, I'd rather go with Rady the Surgeon. Or, yeah. Recover faster and whatnot. Oh, Eden's dying. Yeah, three, three fighters, that's not bad. Battle wagons. Mobile enforcers, huh? So, that would hurt, that or your, that would hurt your organization at all, or no? It actually makes your organization go by 3.5, but it hurts your speed, which I don't want. Um, and honestly, we need more organization here. It's going to hurt our armor a little bit. Let's go to 4. Or 24 combat width. 20 combat width is probably actually pretty decent already. Armor's not bad. Soft attack's pretty good. You can make them really freaking huge. 40 combat width if you really wanted to risk it. That gives you good organization, good amount of HP. That hurts your armor still a little bit, actually, which is not good. Um, you basically double up, almost double up everything you got. Mm, I'll keep working on it. Once we have an industry that can really support it, then we might do that, but we'll see. <clears throat> Mutant mining operations. Mutants have an excellent physique for mining. Strong back, tall, and can carry a ton of weight without even breaking a sweat. 
With even minimal effort, we could crack the Texas soil open, begin to plunder its mineral riches for ourselves. Why wouldn't we? And why shouldn't we? Honestly, is it worth even? I mean, would we even be able to take anything? They're already on our, their capital is Frontline City. They're going to lose it anyways. We might as well just stay down here and like try to absorb as much XP as possible. Still only one, huh? I mean, it's almost cut off completely, too. Yeah, see, there they go. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted the political power, but whatever. It is what it is. Well, there's the apocalypse, eh? I don't like them, we can use them. It's the only reason why I want them. War Crux. Old world wall holds, eh? I'll put. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, finally, for the party, why not? Here is a low. So these are all ahead of time. So we don't need to worry about it too much. Tanks low ahead of time. Don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, combine arms training, sure. Why not? I haven't done that focus yet. Um, steady construction vehicles is one of the things that made construction and manufacturing so advanced in the pit. In the pit or in the past, was the advent of specialized industrial vehicles. By trying to reverse engineer them, we can come close to assembling our own metallic beasts of burden. Good God, we need more money. Improvise improved armored vehicles. <coughs> Just about anything can be made into an armored vehicle if you're willing to weld enough metal plates to it. Using a little bit of our own know-how and studying the designs of our neighbors and predecessors, we can fashion bigger and badder tanks. That's right. Absolutely. Slave Master. I like this one. Consuming Hunger. Yeah, that's fine. Shio's army's thick. Of course, they are actually using super mutants. Chief Air Force, ample leg room. Huh. <laughs> that makes sense. Then for this one, fortification battalions. Organizing groups of able-bodied mutants into fortification battalions will allow us to fast-track the construction of outposts along our more troublesome borders. With the added bonus being that these souls can be conscripted into general service. Study specialized equipment. The wasteland is filled with hundreds of specialized pieces of equipment that can hit at the intricacies of warfare before the bombs. While there isn't enough of any one type to supply an army's worth of specialists, there's not a study and refurbish into general support equipment. Very good. Um, are they done attacking us? That's sad. Just in case, like, we need to flip-flop back and forth. Because it looks like they are trying to plan faster. 400% is pretty insane. Are you are you actually attacking? What if they are attacking? Why would you do that? Hello. She has an army. Finally, we can do something here. Uh, sure. Use them to build us up. Screw it. Do that to one, too. Use more planes. It is what it is. Uh, war trucks, though. But well, since we're here, you're going to grab... Maintenance is nice. You actually can grab maintenance and mobile maintenance. Does hurt our armor, though, but it's alright. It's worth it. Eh, grab that too, why not? Let's see what they do. Is how much damage they can do to us. We only have 10 divisions. It's not a ton. But it's something. Oh, that's not good. That is very much not good. <coughs> of course, as soon as we start losing, start moving, they start leaving us. They're going to start attacking somewhere here. That's a lot of divisions, man. Super mutant rumble. It seems that someone has come to interfere with the crap. Why they must always bother us like this. The forge is our home and our way of life. If the one takes away from us, we won't go down without a fight. <clears throat> a good chance to try our war machines, though. Ooh. Oh, man, they've really overextended themselves, haven't they? 
Unification Wars. To the north are the remnants of the Addis army have mostly left us alone. Yet that won't always be the case. Eventually they'll try to call us back and take away this identity we've made for ourselves. We'll never surrender the forge, even though it means having to unify the army ourselves to do so. Very cool. Go in. If you possibly can. You know what? You hold there. You go right here. <clears throat> hey, and a segment right there. And a segment right there. What's not to love? 42, 12. We have 10. We must be very careful with this then. Because as much as I love winning, and we can move extraordinarily fast, I still need these guys to kill each other. Good. Welcome back. Good. Playing your kids? Eh, it's alright. Anything else we got here? Hang on to your butts, just in case. Especially if they're trying to force the attack on us. Wow. I don't like that the AI can just stop that. Why? We we have we're forced to go through that all the way through. So a little of time. <clears throat> and now they're trying to attack us too. So we lost some entrenchment, which sucks. We got more planning speed, speed, and some good bonuses overall. Hurts against supply consumption, but this is good too. Ooh, what do we have here? Gas, gas, gas. Do you like my car? Inherent strength. Um, less defense, more speed, less organization loss. No need for brakes where we're going next stop. Pack, no speed limit. Do you like my car? There's no wax on, wax off with drifting. You learn by doing it. The first drifters invented in drifting. Um, here in the mountains by feeling it, so feel it. So. We went with which one? Less organization for speed. I want more speed. I'm gonna hurt our defense for more speed. Ooh, oh, we already, we already have this one. Oh. Interesting. Ah, we can do that one, why not? Oh, what do we have here? Barricades, outposts, only strong survive. Rush training programs, experienced scout platoons. Organization lots of moving. I like that one. Fight for freedom, trenchments, borders, HP, attacking division, speed. Take from the weak and give to ourselves. Take from the rich and give to ourselves. Only the strong should have everything in this world versus experienced scout platoons. Well, the well trained scouts can get read on our enemies and figure out what they're up to before they strike. Hmm. Mobile recon? We can get a lot of mobile stuff here, really. But I like gas. We do we need this immediately? And here's not very much here through here. Strategy know how? Training XP traits. Old books of knowledge of many battles throughout history. We can put this wisdom to good use against our enemies. You know what? This is something I never choose. War is chaos, but chaos can be prepared for. Meticulous preparation. Strong offense is the best defense. They should not pass. Planning logistics. We want speed, and logistics is part of speed. I'm going to grab this one. Screw it. Something di something different that I would normally would not choose. Once these guys start overextending themselves, we're going to start making encirclements, maybe. Or just keep building ourselves up. I mean, we don't have to do that. Here, do this. Well, we need more vehicles, but we're going to make more, and if they want to keep doing this, that's fine with us, too. They're forcing their defense, huh? Taking 95 casualties. Reclaim disused DACA. One thing the wasteland is full of, and we like more than anything else, is DACA. Big ones, little ones, automatic ones, explosive ones, we can't get enough of them. While being both the backbone of our army and the main incentive for media to pick through the rubble, shiny new shooters are truly a prize to behold. You're not allowed to lose here. They're allowed to die, you're not allowed to lose. Um, Scour airfields. Airplane engineering is too complicated for normal humans, but without any specialists, and pilots are about twice as big as in every aspect, it really starts to become a Sisyphean science. Though a nation with active and effective air power is one that can, when wars with far greater is one than without, so we should endeavor to, endeavor to use what we can for motor designs to build our own planes. Let them exhaust each other. Prioritize our living standards while we're waiting for them to kill each other off. 
Pull wrecks ashore? Well, I just wasn't known for making mutants of very navally inclined people. By resurfacing old wrecks and trying to put together what we can from water ravaged hulks, we can design bigger, better boats. They'll surely rule the waves in clear sky construction. We can build all the factories, roads, and docks we want, but even just a single bomb can knock out a workshop for days, if not weeks. A blanket of anti air guns will ensure that enemy t pilots have a hard time damaging industrial targets, even if they maintain air superiority. That's very true. Green energy. Electricity is an important resource. To ensure more people have their homes and workplaces power, we should get. Uh, we should commission the construction of wind farms and refurbish all fusion generators. It's no Hoover Dam, but it'll keep the lights on, the toaster working, and all's well that well's well. Irradiated water from either the Gulf or its tributaries generally isn't safe to drink, but water dug out from hundred year old aquifers is almost entirely cured of its radioactive kiss. Though normal mutants generally don't mind a bit of spicy water for the purposes of managing hummies and trading, it's better to start digging out the clean stuff in electronics manufacturing. Unlike electricity, water and metal electronics are not the kind of resources that can be drawn from the land itself, producing even simple electronic circuits. Ooh. Um, and components require specialized factories that are suited to small-scale manufacturing. Recent plans draw up just such a set of facilities and behemoths of industry. We finally achieved a modern and varied economy. Between extraction and production of both civilian and war materials, any rival wastelands uh, stand should find themselves both green and it with envy. Not as green as us and afraid of our capability, but I think I'll end it there, because we'll do a lot of these focuses off-screen and keep building our army up and then pretty much crushing both sides if we possibly can in the end. But if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we start rolling over a ton and tons and tons of our enemies. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.